Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1 and today we are going to be making a corner to corner afghan. Now you're probably wondering why are we looking at a little cabinet and this is why. Because our goal today is to clean out this drawer. This is my drawer that I put all my odds and ends, things I don't plan on finishing, and little balls of yarn. And this is what we are going to use to make our corner to corner afghan. See all these little pieces? Um, and we're gonna start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today, well, like I was saying earlier, I am showing you how I'm cleaning out that drawer of odds and ends. So I'm doing a corner to corner afghan, and this is what I've got started. So I started down here, and I just attach as I go, and you see like right here, even though this is considered one row, it's got two different um, yarns, but it still looks good. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do with your scrap yarn. So here we go. You are gonna need a six millimeter hook, which is a J hook. I had someone tell me they didn't know what the millimeters was about, so it's a J hook. And, ooh, this pulls from the middle. And I'm just gonna grab my yarn. Now to do corner to corner, I'll take you to how you do that. So I cross my yarn, I'm gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And then I'm gonna do a double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. Okay, double crochet and then a double crochet in each one. Okay. And here we go. And I'm gonna catch that tail. I'm just gonna wrap it around so that it's got a little extra anchor. Okay, so that's your first little part. So if we go back to the one that I've already got started, that's that first square right there. Okay. Okay. So then, you chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then in that fourth chain from hook, you're gonna do a double crochet, and then a double crochet in the next two chains. And then, that gives you this. You're gonna turn that first one that you did and you're gonna slip stitch where the chain three was, you're gonna slip stitch into there, okay? Then we're gonna chain up three and in that same space where you had your chain three, we're gonna put three double crochets. One, two, three. Okay, then we're at the end of that row. So see, because we're working diagonally. Okay, so if we're looking at the one I've already got started, that's right here. So we did a one and then we did two. Now we're gonna start on three, okay? So what I'm gonna just do is keep going until I'm done this little ball of yarn. Okay, so again, we're gonna chain up six. Every time you start a new row to do your increase, you're gonna chain up six. Into the fourth chain, you're doing a double crochet, and then you're doing two more double crochets in the next two chains. Okay, so you've got this. Now you're turning that work 
and you're slip stitching into that chain three space, chaining up three. Then you're doing three double crochet in that same space. One, two, and three. And then you're gonna slip stitch into the next chain three space. Chain up three, one, two, three. Three more double crochet in that space. One, two, and three. And so that's how you're doing the increases, okay? So now we're gonna take the one I've already got started and I stopped mid row with this one. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm actually, I don't wanna do two variegated at the same. So I'm just gonna use this beige. So you see here, I stopped mid row. So I'm gonna go to where I stopped. Okay, so let me, let me just pull this out so I can show you what I did. Uh, sorry, I pulled it tight. You know, like I tell you guys to do all the time. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We'll undo this so you can see what I did to finish off. So there. So see, I ran out of yarn here. So I did my slip stitch into the chain three space, but instead of chaining up three, because I know I don't have enough yarn to do a whole nother block, I just pull my tail through my loop and pull tight. Okay, then I take my new color. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's the end? Here it is. I take my new color and right where I stopped, I go in, pull my yarn. Now I want that tail at the back because this is the side I'm putting all my tails in. So I'm gonna kinda finagle it so it's on this side. So I'm gonna chain three. And because I want this tail on this side, I'm gonna do a double crochet and make sure that I catch the tail so that it's on the right side. So we're doing three double crochets, two and three, and we've started a new color. We attached it. So then we do our slip stitch and we continue that all the way along. So see? And we would do that to the end of the row. So this is how I'm gonna clean that little drawer. So let me just show you again. So chain up three, one, two, three. Three double crochets in that chain three space. One, two, three. And then slip stitch into the next chain three space. So you're going to keep doing this and it's going to keep getting longer or wider and wider. Once you have it to the width you like, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to start decreasing. Okay. So I'm going to work on this today and try and empty that drawer so that I can fill it with all new kinds of scrap ends. And uh, yeah, I'll meet you back so that I can show you how to stop it from increasing. So you're just keeping to one width. Okay. Hi everyone. Okay, so I have my blanket as wide as I want it. I counted, oops, sorry. I counted each one of the little squares that we did and I've got 52 wide. So I don't wanna go any wider. So, at this end, I am going to attach, but instead of chaining up three and adding another one, I'm instead going to turn my work and slip stitch 
in those stitches. all the way to the chain three space. Okay, then I'm gonna chain my three and keep going. <clears throat> now on the other end, when I get to the other side, I'm still gonna wanna increase in length, so when I get to the other end, I will go up three and do another stitch. I'm making this 52 by 70, so of these little blocks. So see, now for the width, I've started to decrease here, or not decrease, but just maintain. So on the other side, I will still increase, just like we have been doing. And now on this side, we will do the decrease, <clears throat> or not the decrease, but the maintain. So do that, and then when it's time to start um, decreasing. I'll show you how we do that. Okay. So everyone, you wanted to know how I did with cleaning up my drawer. Well, look at it. It's pretty much empty. I have a few odds and sods I'm keeping. They either don't go with the blanket or like these little flowers I'm saving to put on a dog sweater or something. And here is what I've got so far for the blanket. Sorry. So, I did 52 across and then I started maintaining, right? Like I showed you. And now, I've got 70 long. And so, that's the length I'm gonna want. And so I'm gonna start maintaining and it's gradually gonna just fill up the rest to make it a rectangle. And then I'm gonna put a border. And that's how we do a scrappy corner to corner. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, forget to hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Tell me if you've made one. I would love to see your finished products if you have. You can put them on my Facebook page. Leave a comment and I'll give you a link to this Facebook page where you can show me. And then maybe your picture will end up in one of my videos or my, my um, slideshows. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.